Born in LaGrange, North Carolina, Frank Lucas went to New York at 17. He started out robbing bars and stores at gunpoint to make a quick buck and was quickly taken under the wing of racketeer and drug dealer Bumpy Johnson. Bumpy was a legendary gangster. When you look, the first African-American gangster that I know of in, in Harlem, I don't think there's anybody more significant that was on the scene uh, during those times than Bumpy Johnson. Bumpy bought heroin from the mafia, then sold it on the streets. Bumpy was the mentor, Frank was the protege. Frank wanted to get into the business, and Bumpy sort of introduced Frank on his way. Bumpy hires Frank to help him run a setup, but in 1968, suddenly dies from a heart attack, age 62. Seizing the moment, Lucas claims Bumpy's Harlem turf for himself. using violence on anyone who gets in his way. Looking for foot soldiers he can trust, Lucas brings a dozen family members, the country boys up from North Carolina. They keep a lethal grip on Lucas's fast-growing territory. They were a very, very violent group. Violence was not the last step. Violence was the first step. They terrorized the old drug dealers, and they forced them off the streets. They were brutal. They would throw them off the roof. There were people being shot. They cleaned up the old-time drug dealers through violence. What they did was a perversion of the American way. They had the best product. They had the best people selling the product. They had the locations where the product could be purchased, the advertising through the name. They had it all. 